Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ruchita, Junior Resident in Department of Radio Diagnosis at KMC Manipal. My topic is Imaging Features of Hepatocellular Carcinoma post taste of Pectorial Assay. Uh, the purpose of this is to show the imaging features of hepatocellular carcinoma after transcatheter arterial chemoembolization on CT and describe its use in evaluating the response to therapy. Patients diagnosed with HCC who underwent TACE at our hospital were followed up with CT scan to study different imaging features and the study is the illustration of representative cases. TACE is a local regional treatment for inoperable primary or secondary hepatic malignancies. It induces tumor ischemia and provides high prolonged local chemotherapy uh, concentration. Takes advantage of fact that hepatic cancers receive blood supply primarily from hepatic artery whereas liver parenchyma has dual supply from hepatic artery and portal vein making it less susceptible to injected chemotherapeutic agents. Conventional TACE it uses uh, lipidol as the chemotherapeutic carrier agent followed by particulate embolization drug diluting bead taste uh, is the chemotherapy de uh, therapeutic uh, delivery and embolization using beads impregnated with the uh, chemotherapeutic agent. Transarterial embolization is the particulate embolization without chemotherapeutic agent using PVA. Uh, Post-procedural imaging, the goals are to look at uh, residual or recurrent tumor requiring further treatment, identify complications of therapy, detect and characterize new or additional observations elsewhere in the liver. CT is commonly used as the standard imaging technique for evaluating therapeutic response in patients with uh, HCC after taste. So the tumor response is most commonly given by modified resist criteria. That is the complete response is the disappearance of any intratumoral arterial enhancement. Partial response is increase in 30 percent or uh, decrease in 30 percent of the diameter of the viable target lesion. Uh, stable disease is any case that doesn't fit into complete partial or progressive disease. Progressive disease is increase of at least 20 percent in the diameter of the viable target lesion. For uh, uh, lyrats, so it is to treatment response. It can either be non-viable, equivocal, or viable. Viable is when there is arterial phase hyper enhancement, washout uh, appearance, or enhancement similar to that of pre-treatment. Non-viable is no lesional enhancement on treatment-specific expected enhancement pattern. Yeah. We have a case of 60-year-old male with multicentric HCC who underwent taste and, and on follow-up CT. It shows. 63% increase in the single largest diameter of the lesion in segment 7 or 8 which is suggestive of progressive disease. Another case showing multiple well-defined peripherally enhancing uh, round lesions uh, which on follow-up CT show no uh, increase in the single largest diameter which is suggestive of stable disease. Uh, here we can see a large lesion which is showing arterially peripheral enhancing components uh, which on follow up CT show a decrease in the arterially enhancing components with the peripheral lipidol deposition. So there are different uh, features on uh, imaging that can help us know whether the tumor is viable or not. So no lesion enhancement is the absence of enhancement within or along the margin of the lesion which makes it non-viable. Whereas post-treatment arterial phase hyper enhancement or post-treatment washout or post-treatment enhancement similar to pre-treatment all are suggestive of viable tumor. The accumulation of iodized oil, lipidol, observe, uh, is observed on pre-contrast CT and it can be classified into no lipidol deposition, homogeneous or patchy incomplete lipidol retention, homogeneous or patchy complete lipidol retention. If defective uptake of iodized oil, that's lipidol, is seen, then it suggests there is remain in viable tissue. So here we can see the 64-year-old male uh, with HCC lesion in segments for 5 and 6 showing complete patchy lipidol retention post taste. Another case where it shows incomplete uh, patchy lipidol retention in this large lesion whereas it shows complete homogeneous lipidol retention in a smaller lesion adjacent to it. Another is 66-year-old male with LR5 lesion, the small lesion which shows uh, incomplete uh, homogeneous lipidol retention. Here we can see this 67-year-old uh, male with cirrhosis of liver and HCC which shows incomplete lipidol homogeneous lipidol retention pattern. So the complications that can be detected on CT are hepatic abscess, chemical cholecystitis, biliary stricture or necrosis. Here we have this case of 67-year-old male who underwent taste for liver lesion in segment 5, 7, 7 and 8 who presented two weeks later with pain abdomen and fever. The CT scan post taste showed a lipidol deposition with multiple air foci and hemobilia which is suggestive of probable anaerobic infection. 
So the role of CT is uh, to look at residual recurrent tumors and detect any new lesions. Here we can see the 62 year old male patient with cirrhosis who underwent uh, taste for this lesion in uh, uh, here. This is the pre uh, uh, taste uh, CT. On uh, post taste CTs, uh, we can see there is still arterially enhancing component. Also, there is uh, a, a, a washout and portomino space with necrotic areas within. These are the uh, hypotense areas within. There is also evidence of new uh, arterially enhancing lesion in segment 7. So post-procedure imaging and clinical assessment, if the remaining tum untreated tumor is there, so then uh, we have to clinically assess it in four weeks after initial treatment. So if the candidate is good for local regional therapy, then a taste is planned for four to eight weeks after the initial taste. If not, then we have to wait uh, until the status improves. If all areas of tumor have been treated with taste, then the imaging assessment is four weeks after the last treatment. Viable tumor on imaging, if it is present, it can be secondary to untreated, under uh, treated uh, hepatic branches on initial taste or secondary to aberrant or extra hepatic arterial supply. If there is no viable tumor on imaging, it can be uh, complete imaging response, which has to be followed up in three months with imaging. So uh, CT is the standard imaging technique for monitoring the effectiveness of taste. Lipidol retention pattern may play an important role in treatment efficacy. The imaging follow-up uh, follow schedule varies from institution to institution, but one month to three months is what is followed in some centers. The short interval follow-up studies allow quick uh, retreatment in case where there is recurrent tumor or development of new tr uh, tumor. These are my references.